I never thought of myself as being a sister, never pictured myself being a sister at all. But one day I heard God's call, and uh, it was a call that I knew I couldn't refuse. Traditionally, the order is known for preaching the gospel and teaching in schools. And we have that privilege and we keep that tradition. And also for us, we are blessed because we have two other apostolates. We do evangelization work and also aid to the suffering. We run a nursing home and we run a retreat center. This community is a very vibrant, very energetic community. There's very much a family dynamic between the sisters, from the older sisters to the younger sisters. It's, it's one big family. So Dominicans are, are the order of preachers. The main mission is to evangelize, to preach the truth. We bring our prayer into our work, and then we bring our experiences of our work back into our prayer. Prayer is an ongoing thing throughout the day, whether I'm sitting in the chapel with Jesus, or I'm with my sisters recreating, or I'm with our residents doing hands-on care with them in the nursing home. Living our charism is bringing Jesus to them, as well as bringing them to Jesus. When we look at our daily schedule, it's like enveloped in the Blessed Sacrament. In the morning, all of us participate together in Holy Mass, and then we meet again by the end of the day in the chapel. I cannot really express like how precious these moments are. This is, this is always the time where I simply like, cast myself into the arms of my spouse. I can tell him about my joyful moments, about my sorrowful moments, and then sometimes when I'm just completely helpless, I can just say, Lord, I can't do it. You take care of it. Discerning young women should know that Jesus loves them, and He loves them so much that He's desiring their heart. Really giving our lives to the Lord is about learning what true love is. God will get you where He wants you to be as long as you, you let Him lead the way. It's such a beautiful life. The, the religious life is so rich and so beautiful. There's no reason to be afraid when you've got Jesus on your side. There are so many people out there who have this desire, have this inkling of this call, and maybe they don't know what to do with it, or they're afraid because they think that they're alone, but they're really not. Be not afraid to take that step. If it doesn't work out, there's, they're gonna be a better woman because of the experience that they had. It's a process and it's beautiful, this unfolding, falling in love with Jesus. There's just a wonderful beauty in the experience that I've had of seeing church beyond my own country even. Being able to you know, see the world and have these wonderful opportunities to meet church in other places like World Youth Day or the Holy Land. and It's, it's, it's a very beautiful life.